Hey Gemini, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for November 2018. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. So if they don't, just um, take what you can. You may just hear a couple that trigger something. Or the whole uh, reading could be for you. If not, you can always check your other signs to see if you can get more clarity. And also this uh, spread will be for really what's going on with the other person to try to get, you know, a little more clarity between you and the other person. If you don't have anyone that you're thinking about while listening to this reading, you can go into my playlist. I do have a singles readings uploaded. Check them out. Or, you know, you can listen to somebody else, <laughs> whatever works for you. All right. So... Um, there's a link in the description box below if you would like to be an exclusive member of my channel. And uh, there's also a description of the perks you'll receive while joining. So definitely check that out if you would like to be. Nothing else will change with my channel. I will still be uploading the readings for free. And the channel membership will be just for exclusive members. And there's perks in there. Okay, these cards are gigantic. They're tough to shuffle. So... I do my best to just give a couple of more shuffles here with these. So if you're listening to this reading before October 31st, happy Halloween. Okay, just do another one here. And then I will cut the deck. Okay, <clears throat> take just a quick deep breath. <clears throat> okay, so the past position, you know, the two of pentacles, present position, seven of cups. what the person thinks about the situation. The hermit card is here. What the person thinks of you. Ten of Pentacles. How they feel about you. Page of Swords. What this person wants. Honestly, I gotta look that up because I don't know what that card is. I've never seen that before. But we will figure it out. What you need to know about this person, the emperor. Your advice is the nine of swords. The outcome. the world. Okay, one sec. Truly sorry about that. I literally have never seen that card before. So I'm going to take a look at it and see um, what it represents here. Oh, well, in this deck, it's judgment. Actually, no, it's not. This card represents an angel or last judgment. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Let's take a look here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the past position here, you have the two of pentacles. So definitely a situation that requires, oh, you know what? Before I even get further with that, I wanted to do the romance angel life uh, love message for you. Oh, <laughs> that just fell out. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is really just a card that's saying, November seems to be a ripe time to do this. Either you towards the other person or they towards you, but both of you. Okay. Um, even if this isn't someone that you've been involved with and, you know, there is an energy here expressing feelings or express your admiration or love for this person. Okay. So again, as I was saying, the past position is the two of pentacles. I'm oh, sorry. I just want to fix, make it clear. Um, so the two of pentacles represents change. Okay. This card is talking about in the past, somebody was trying to weigh things, weigh options, weigh, not really options. It was just trying to balance two forces. There was a lot of change that happened in a past connection with another person that caused uh, you or that person to try to figure out what the best move would be. You know, the, the yin and yang is here. So it was a balancing of the dark and the light. You two, you and the other person definitely had, someone was yin and someone was yang. And there was a, a definite need to try to balance this connection or balance this relationship in some way. Okay. But then as I was saying, trying to weigh options, and then I look here at the present situation with the seven of cups, that is someone trying to weigh their options. This is someone that has commitment issues. This is someone who has, and if it's not commitment issues, it's someone who has difficulty in trying to make decisions or they just have too much on their plate and they can't figure out presently what they need to do. So I feel like it was kind of always that way with this person, always. You know, they were trying to hold the world up, trying to find this place within them that they were trying to balance things and then it, more just kept piling on and piling on, both of you. And then it just, everything got heavy and there was stress and, and nobody knew what the, what the answer was. There were too many unknowns, too many choices, too many roads to take. You know, at first there were seven, seven, or if, I'm sorry, first there were two solid decisions, two solid things that were balancing. And then somehow more fell on top of that, more fell on top, more presented itself. And somebody became confused and didn't know now what to do. It was a bit easier in the past to try to balance the relationship, but something got out of hand. <clears throat> it may have been just you and the other person. And then after a longer time being together, then there were more responsibilities that, that came with that. There were more um, families were brought together. Uh, children were brought together. Um, more options for work came. These were all things that had emotional effects on you and on that other person. So there was a lack of being able to decide. And so what this person did, their thoughts about the whole situation is they pulled back. They went into hermit mode. So we have Virgo, we have an air sign. Um, we have Aries. Okay. For some of you that that may resonate for. Trying to balance a partnership here, but November 
presently. There's too much on the plate now for both of you. And this person is actually has, you know, their thought how to handle this situation is to pull their energy back, to pull away, to disappear, to go into hermit mode, to reflect, to think deeply about what they need to do, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Going within to try to make a conscious decision about what would be the right option, what would be the right choice, okay? And so for this person to do this, this is what they felt was the best option for them because they didn't know what to do. It may seem like they were running away, but I feel like for what the person you're dealing with, they couldn't talk about it. They, they just, they've talked and talked. They've just been swirling around and swirling around in their head and they just didn't know how to handle this situation. So they just, Either they ghosted you or they just silent, went silent, or they just disappeared or they just, you know, kind of got to this place where, you know, that was, that was the only option for them. And their thoughts about it, it's really hard to tell because they're in hermit mode. And some of them are actually unable to sort this out. They're having no thoughts. Some of them um, dealt with the problem by isolating with, you know, either drinking or finding distractions. Some of them are just sleeping a lot or avoiding. They're, they, they have this avoidance mode going on. Of course, Gemini, that's not how you operate at all. You are the communicator. You're an air sign and you're ruled by Mercury and you're a communicator. So you like to communicate, sort things out, talk. And it's making you nuts because they're just, they're not talking. They're, they're pulled back. <clears throat> So what this person thinks of you, Ten of Pentacles, I mean, come on, that's a beautiful card. You're stable, you're everything they want, you're everything they need, they can count on you, they can trust you. You know, uh, you're home for them. You're home for this person, Gemini, you are. But if, it almost feels like they're in this place now where they, they need to work something out for themselves. I guess they just need to, if they need to just disappear, they need to like not communicate, that's how they need to handle it. It doesn't change what they think of you. It doesn't mean that you're less valuable. You're the 10 of pentacles, upright. I mean, that's the highest value you could be. <coughs> next to the wheel of fortune, you know. You have this healing energy, loving, your communicator, you know, you bring in the money, you you keep. You know, this is to this this um Ten of Pentacles, the Virgo card, as well as the Hermit. So a lot of you are dealing with Virgo. But this Cards showing up here in the place of how what they think of you is that they they know that they they can count on you to be stable for them during this time, right? That you're not gonna you're not gonna react, you're not gonna budge, you're just gonna kind of let them well just do what they have to do, or at least even though it might be stressing you out. This I feel like is where they're at right now. And even in the case of trying to commit, you know, things were going well. And I'm not talking those of you who are in a marriage and you're happy and now you're listening to the November reading and everything's going to go to shit. I'm not saying that. Things were balanced between the two of you in the past. Things were good. But some, some commitment problems, something somebody had to commit to made things much more difficult, too much on their plate. 
and they kind of pulled out, they pulled back. Okay, so the position of how they feel about you. The Prince of Swords is here. And I think that I say that was the King of Swords. I actually think the Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords. No, I'm wrong. Prince of Swords is um, Page. I'm sorry. Page of Swords is the Prince of Swords. This book is a little bit different, and it's a new deck for me, so I'm definitely trying to get used to it. So how they feel about you is definitely <laughs> that you're a good communicator, that you, um, you, they feel like you're watching them. They know you're watching them. They feel that you are truthful. They feel that you communicate the truth to them. You know, there's no cup energy here, so it's not necessarily, if you're looking to see, I know a lot of ladies, you know, well, but does he love me? Well, I mean, that's, that's great if he does, you know, but that's not the whole picture. There's, you know, how someone feels about you is, uh, can they connect to you, you know? And I feel like this person can connect to you. I feel like they can talk to you because when you're in the place of the page, page of sorts, that's communication. And they, they feel like they can talk to you, but they're just not ready to communicate yet. That's all. They're not ready to communicate how they're, how they're feeling and what's going on within them or their, their struggles. They're not, they're not willing, they're not ready to tell you that they can't handle something. I mean, how do they tell you that when you, when you're so capable of handling so many things, there's, there's this feeling within them that they thought that they were managing things and then it seems like they got overloaded. Um, maybe you wanted more out of the connection. Maybe you needed better communication. Maybe you need a commitment. Maybe you needed more love. Maybe you needed more affection, whatever it was. And they, they, they didn't know what to do. So they pulled back. I'm sure there was plenty of other reasons too that you can leave me a comment about, but I don't feel as if their feelings for you have changed. I just feel like they are overloaded and they're pulling away so that they can reframe, regroup. And that's okay. You can let them do that. <clears throat> now in the position of what they want. And when we're talking about the angel card, okay, in this deck, and I'll tell you what this card says, and maybe we can figure out together. So this is a fire card, okay? So it says, the center of the card is the child Horus. And I don't know if you know anything about Greek mythology or um, anything connected to Horus. Horus is the incarnation of the new age. His left hand is open, signifying that the old universe has been destroyed and he is too young to formulate a new one he is surrounded by the figure of Nuit, the star goddess, and ben beneath him is the winged point, Had Hadit, Hadit. Okay, so that means to me that this person wants to have a new beginning, but he doesn't know how to do it. He or she does not know how to do this. It seems to me, based on this reading, that changes needed to be made with them. You needed that. You wanted growth. You wanted change. You wanted better from them. You saw that they could be better than where they are, what they were, or whichever. You didn't want to change them or mold them into something you thought would be a better fit for you. You just saw so much potential with them and you wanted that. And 
they doubted themselves, that they could be what they could be for you. And this card here, in the position of what that person wants from you and from your connection is they want to be better, but they're, they're young within. It's kind of, it's kind of like buying an eight year old, a brand new car and giving that eight year old driver's license saying, now hit the road. Oh, it sounds exciting. And yeah, I can do this. And yeah, I can do this, but they're too young to do that. They're too young. They, they don't understand fully yet. And this person, they're not, they, they know that the growth is there and they know that they can be better, but they don't know how to get there yet. They're on that journey. They're on that path. And they haven't quite figured out with all the responsibility and all the things that are being asked of them and everything that they want or everything that you would like from them, they see that they have the potential to do it, but they don't know. They just feel there's an immaturity to it, to them. They don't know that they can do this. What they, what this person wants you to know about them is the emperor here. They want you to know that with this card, they're capable. They don't want you to give up on them. Now, does that mean sit around and wait forever? No. Okay. But don't stop believing in them. You know, if this person disappeared on you or ghosted on you, okay, fine. That's what you got to do. Okay. All right. Go do your thing. I'm still doing mine. When you come back out, let me know how it's going. That's it, right? So they have the emperor card here and what they want you to know. And they want you to see that they are this emperor. The emperor's, you know, he's he's got that authority. He's got that capability to run the entire kingdom and the entire castle. And people look up to him. People go to him and they, you know, they, they look to him for guidance. Father figure. You know, if you're male listening to this and this is your female, she wants you to know this is her too. She's capable. She can do this. She's just trying to figure out how right now, how to do this. Horace is given the keys to the kingdom, but he doesn't know if he's grown up enough yet in some area within to be able to handle all that. But he does believe that he can, it's just a matter of time. Your advice is the nine of swords, which is so strange because I honestly would not advise that to anyone. But I would have to say, when looking at this card, I feel like it's really important that, take a look at your stresses and your anxieties. You know, what, what what's killing you at night? <laughs> What's happening to you at night, Gemini, when you go to sleep? Before you go to sleep, what are these thoughts that are rolling around in your head? What's keeping you up at night? Maybe that potential that you see in that person, let them come to that on their own. Let them come to that on their own because I think that's part of what is stressing you out at night is that you know that this is a good person and you know that they, you and you and they are a perfect match and you know deep within that, that this can work and, and you know how to make it work. Like, you know, Gemini, you're so damn smart and you know, and you've got it in you and, and you know the path to take and you've been down paths and you know the way to go and, and you could lead an entire army, give them directions, just take, go left, go right, go up the hill, that's a, the best, easiest, quickest, fastest way to get to what you want to get to. And you know it. And it's stressing you out at night because you can't show them because they they can't see it yet. It, you, it, again, it's like trying to teach a first grader algebra. They're, they're not on your level yet, Gemini. They're not there. And so I feel like November is a time that you you got to just leave them be. Let them go through their emotions. Let them figure out what, because they got those keys. They, they've they been handed the keys. That You are the key. You've handed them the key to the greatest life of all at some point. And they got those keys. And I'm like, shit, what am I supposed to do with this? How am I going to do this? 
I don't know how to do this. And they got to come into their own, on their own. And you got to let them. Right? You got to let them. <clears throat> People will thrive and they'll learn the greatest lessons in their lives when they experience is the best teacher. And when they experience these things themselves, they got to grow into their commitments. They got to grow into their um, duties and responsibilities, their relationship duties, responsibilities. The only cups card I'm seeing here is the seven of cups as far as feelings go. And that really just tells me that this person, as far as feelings go, has a problem with committing their feelings. They, they, it, there's an immaturity to whoever you're dealing with, emotional immaturity. That's really just the essence of the reading. So, I mean, if you're, you know, I mean, I, I certainly am not advising you <laughs> to wait for someone to grow up. I don't feel that way. Um, you know, and this person you're dealing with, uh, this could be your child. This could be um, a younger sibling. Um, this could be people that, someone that you work with who's just starting at the job. You know, this could be um, your partner. It could be anybody. So the universe card is here, and this is the world. And this is in the position of the outcome. So expect major transformation happening here. The end of a cycle. This is a cycle that this person is going through, a phase. It's not a phase. A phase makes it sound so undervalued or unimportant, and I don't mean it that way. I mean, it's a cycle. A cycle of growth is happening here. Just like this two of pentacles. It's got this yin-yang, right? So there's a cycle of growth that's happening here. And I feel like... Since it sits down here, this person is going to grow into this change and leave the past behind and have increases in abundance. So also have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. I just want to clarify the outcome card. The world is the ending of a chapter, the ending of a cycle and a new cycle beginning, perhaps going into December, that will show up. Please give me clarification on the world card. Clarification on the world card. <coughs> clarification on the world. <laughs> That's all they want me to tell you. <laughs> We're not going to... Um, See, sometimes that's what will happen. I'll try to get more clarification and then they'll just give me the same card and they'll say, nope, stop asking. This is all that your listener needs to know at this time. The message was sent. Changes, double changes, massive. This is huge. Two major arcana that are exactly the same in the outcome. Change is going to happen. Pull back. Reset your stress. Pay attention to what is keeping you up at night. Pay attention to your mental stress and your mental is instability and try to reduce that. Okay, let go. Let this person come into who they need to be on their own. They'll figure it out. That's why they're where they are. If they're not talking to you, um, you know, it doesn't mean I know I get a lot of questions. Well, you know, I haven't heard from this person. Or are they cheating? Are they talking to somebody else? You know, believe it or not, and I don't think I need to tell you, Gemini, because you're pretty smart. Some other signs, I need to reiterate this, but believe it or not, sometimes people are just going through some shit. And it doesn't mean they're cheating, and it doesn't mean they're, you know, talking to other people, uh, of, you know, in a romantic or sexual sense. Sometimes they just need to pull back. And sort some things out. 
or figure things out. Or sometimes people just need to pull back and get a rest or go on vacation or just sleep. Some people do staycations. They just stay home and you stay in bed and that's their rest because the vacation is stressful for them. So they just, they just don't want to talk. They just want to be left alone for a little while. And, you know, it's always best if someone who's in that position doesn't want to chat or talk to you, they just say, you know what, I just, I need some time. If they're ghosting you, completely disappeared and whatever, fine, go to their house, knock down their door and, you know, throw them a left hook. That's what you need to do. Cause that's pretty shitty. And I don't think people should do that to anybody. I think, um, if you have a responsibility to someone, you're in a relationship with someone, the courtesy, it's courtesy to say, you know what, I'm stressed and I just, I just need some me time. Yep, go for it. I'll be here when you get back. It's fine. So I just kind of feel like there's going to be major cycle ending this. Somebody, whoever you're dealing with is being forced to change, forced to grow up. And it's not by you. The universe has handed them some huge keys, handed them some huge responsibility. And they got to now grow into that and figure out what they're going to do and if they can handle that, and if they can move forward with that. And just be loving. That's all. Just express your love, especially if there's a tough time. It doesn't mean you have to call them every day. Be like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? That's annoying. They need time for themselves. Let them have it. And so, you know, if they reach out to you, say something to you, whichever, how are you? Just make sure that they know that you do still care. You do still love them. You do still, you know, you want the best for them. That's all. And I really don't think it's um, as bad as you might think, I mean, some of you are listening and you have a really, you really do truly have a bad situation that's happening. And I'm sorry that you're going through that. And if this message doesn't resonate for you, then, um, you know, I hope you'll be able to get clarity elsewhere. But for others, I do feel like this is just um, a cycle that's happening right now. And it's okay to just leave it be and let them have their growth. You know? Babies are born one at a time, all by themselves. They don't come out at the same time together. <laughs> My goodness, we would be like, <laughs> we'd never heal after that as women. So, you know, this person's being reborn. They're being born. Let them be born. All right, that's your reading for November. So if you want to get a personal reading, the description box below has a link to get that from me. And you can also contact me on the Instago app just to ask a question and I'll give you an answer and I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.